Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I have a loaded envelope to share with you and I know you're thinking, hey, that's not loaded. It will be. I just thought it'd be easier to share all the items before I put everything in and towards the end of the video, I will show you how everything looks put together. So I made this for a swap with a Facebook group I belong to and we were to make a floral themed loaded envelope. So I chose these gorgeous papers from Crafter's Companion. I love these lavenders and greens. They're so pretty. And then we were to follow a tutorial to make this envelope out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So um, I think this is really fun. It was really simple to make. So you've got your expandable pocket here and then uh, this pocket goes all the way to the bottom here and then you've got this little insert here that's a pocket it makes a shorter pocket that goes to about here. I did mine a little different in that I used a die to cut this edge here and I just think that came out really pretty and I was pleasantly surprised how it coordinated with this pocket that I got from a digital kit and I've used uh, about four or five um, digital kits with this project, uh, some bits and pieces from each and so um, I uh, have decorated the envelope with some ribbon and lace from my stash and I haven't done anything to the back except add this ribbon on the edge just to give it a more finished look but I think I'm going to need this flat because I think this is going to end up being stuffed pretty full on the front pocket here, I have this absolutely gorgeous lady from Renee Bouquets. And then this little butterfly is also from Renee Bouquets. I think this is just absolutely beautiful. I love the glitter on the edges and the little pearl in the center. And this is in the tiny treasure size. And the lady here is in the small size. And again, I apologize, I can't, I'm having a really hard time remembering names today. I should have wrote everything down. So we were to make three handmade embellishments. And so the first one I made was this tassel. I love tassels with projects like this. I just add so much texture and, and various colors. And I think it came out so pretty. I love this bead with it. I, I've had this in my stash and finally get to use it because it just coordinates so well. Um, I decided to attach it to the envelope with um, this lobster clasp and I've got a little eyelet here on the edge of the paper or uh, the envelope. Um, that's because this bead is so thick I just didn't want to try to, to stuff it in the envelope and, and plus it's going to be really pretty hair dangling on the side. So, um, so that's my first embellishment and I'm going to go ahead and um, set this aside so I can show you what else I've made. So the second embellishment I made is this ribbon butterfly. I used this ribbon that was gifted to me by Jessica from the last swap I participated in. So thank you Jessica, it was perfect timing and the perfect color of ribbon. and. Um, I think this came out so cute. I just um, followed a YouTube tutorial and I made a little wire antenna wrapped around the center with a little Renee Bouquet butterfly there and some eyelash trim that I got at Hobby Lobby. So that's going to sit in this little package and I think that's going to be really pretty. And then I made a bead dangle and in the center I have this boho bead with um, all the lots of different colors of beads that matches the collection and then um, I just think this came out so pretty and my swap partner Alicia can uh, use this tag for another project once she removes the, the bead dangle so I think that was a nice little extra there. So I made one more handmade item but this is not what I would call an embellishment it's a memory decks card and on the front here I have some of these beautiful images from one of the digital kits and more of the same 
lace and ribbon and this glittered lavender butterfly from Renee Bouquet's on the cover here on the corner. I just think it came out so cute. And then inside the envelope, this opens up with a magnetic closure. And then I've got a little booklet in here or a little journal that I've sewn together and all these little blank pieces for journaling or whatnot. So I hope my swap partner Alicia Lowly likes this and um, it was really fun and actually didn't take me very long to make. So um, that was really fun. So uh, the next uh, items that we needed to make were altered paper clips. I really enjoyed making these altered paper clips. Uh, this one here is perfect for junk journals and things like that, but for now um, it's just holding this envelope closed, which could also be included in the junk journal. Um, but basically this is just paper wrapped around paper clip and a little dangle on the end. So just a really fun, cute project and quick project to make. Inside the envelope I have a note for Alicia and these cute little tickets back with the purple paper. And I've been working with this notepad with this purple paper for a while now and it just dawned on me how cute it matched this project and so I thought it would be really fun to make like an old fashioned letter and stick it in the envelope like old fashioned way. So. Anyway, that's what I did, and I think that's really fun. And what's not old fashioned is clipping it with this really cute paper clip, but that's okay. Really fun. Um, I just love making these things. You can do so many different ways and things with them. Very fun. And then this one's pretty much the same thing, just different size. And. Um, just a reminder to if you're going to put a charm like that on your paper clip just make sure you put it on before you wrap your paper around and glue anything down so anyway I think that one came out really cute too so and you can see here that it it clips on just like that one did so really fun idea one of the things we were to include is ribbon or lace so I cut a couple of ribbon cards with my silhouette and I cut each piece four times to make a really sturdy card. And in case you're wondering, this is eyelash trim from Hobby Lobby and it is the Yarn Bee Amethyst Pearl. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not already, but anyway, I did again if I did. And then this is just yarn. Um, I don't think I have the packaging anymore, but anyway, it's just some yarn that I got at Joann's and then a couple different colors of satin ribbon. And then this one has my favorite sheer ribbon. I had this, this I get at Michael's and it comes in so many different colors and it's just one of my favorites. I really like the look of it. So we were also to include five different crafty goodies. So. I'm including these little teeny tiny flowers from Hobby Lobby and I've just um, added some design paper to the packaging to make it look pretty and this um, this yarn ribbon right here and so I think those are really fun and match the collection really well and then I've got these uh, cute little clothes pins I couldn't believe I found them in the perfect color so that was really fun and then um, these rhinestones here so all very really nice items to for things that I would like to use. I've also included this button card now this is something that I found on one of the digital kits and I thought it would be fun to try to recreate that and so I've printed it out onto a very sturdy cardstock and added some buttons. They're not vintage buttons, but they're buttons that matched and I found these at Joann's. But anyway, on the digital there's these round, large round flower buttons and I've just added the buttons I got at Joann's in the center there, if you can see that. 
and then these two here um, are some pour old buttons that I cut on my stash for a while and I just uh, poked the hole in there and put the little clip in so um, anyway so I think that just came out really cute So the fifth item I purchased is this lavender ink pad. I think it's such a pretty color. And I know this won't fit in the envelope, so I'm going to have to wrap it up in the packaging somehow and make it look nice. But anyway, I just thought it would be fun to a fun crafty gift to include. And um, hopefully it's something that she can use a lot. So these are the items that I purchased at the store. And then the other... Um, I do have a few other things, and these are things that I purchased from Renee Bouquets. And the first thing are these cute little butterfly kisses. Now these are um, some little teeny tiny butterflies that I have in my stash, and I just thought I'd include uh, a couple different styles in this little packaging in a couple different sizes. So um, I don't know how many is in here, but there's at least two of each. And there's three different styles so um, anyway those are really fun to use and uh, you'll see where I've used um, some on the next thing I'm going to show you but um, I had a different style but I didn't have any left so I didn't include any of those in the package but I used them all on the project so uh, and the next thing from Renee Bouquets is uh, these glittered lavender butterflies and I'd use two and they are the tiny treasure size and they come in a package of five so I had these um, this package from a sticker sheet and so I thought it would be fun to repackage these like you see here and I think it's so pretty and so I thought it'd be just fun for her to get the whole set and then also uh, I've used uh, one of these ladies on one of the items and so this was the other one that I did not use and I couldn't find any smaller packaging so I decided to add this little digital image and I made it into like a little chipboard sticker so I cut I mounted it onto a lightweight chipboard and I cut with my mini scallop scissors and inked it up and made it look like a little um, little sticker and um, so I think that's really fun. And then the last uh, item from Renee Bouquets is this bag of flowers. And so these are some of the flowers that I did not use. And uh, mostly because they were just larger and I didn't want to use anything quite this large. So, um, but I used a lot of the smaller ones. And so I have the, the lavender and then the white with the lavender tips. And then um, I did not use these anywhere in the project, but I had these on my stash. These were the closest thing I had to the green, and I thought that would just really look pretty in here with the green and the purple. So um, the flowers do come in these drawstring bags, but I added the lace and trim on the bottom just to make it look pretty. And then I added this eyelash trim on the top with this really pretty button. And so I think that's just really fun. So these are more crafty goodies for Alicia. And then we're going to go on to uh, the next two items that we had to include in the swap. So I know this is a long video, but there was this was a big project. So, okay, let's get to the tags. Okay, so we had to make three or two three by four tags with a sentiment and so I decided to use these German cards for one of the, the digital kits and because of that I just kept them in the rectangle shape I just think these are so beautiful and I didn't want to lose any of the image I've got like three layers of paper including one heavy duty cardstock so they're really sturdy tags and I've included uh, one of those um, beautiful butterflies from Renee Bouquets on each tag and also one of the little mini 
um, lavender flowers and I think those up a little bit and you know I can't remember if I mentioned the ink or not so if I did I'm I apologize I'm gonna do it again though um, but I'm using the Ranger Tim Holtz um, seedless preserves as the color and I just really like that color with this project um, anyway I uh, also uh, found these little words from one of the digital kits and I just cut them out and made them look like little pieces of chipboard and and uh, added these little pearl charms on the top and this was my last little purple pearl so at least you got my last little charm there and it's so pretty I love the the way these turned out and then we also had to make a three and a half by seven tag so this is what I made and I have to tell you this is probably one of my favorite things out of all these um, items I did not want to give this one away I want to keep it um, it came out so pretty I used one of the tags from the digital collection or one of the digital kits and I uh, mounted one of these journaling cards onto this striped paper and then I popped that up onto some chipboard and then um, these are where I added those little um, butterfly clisses that I was telling you about. I just don't have any more of this style. I used the last three on this project and I just think they're so pretty. Um, anyway, I love those. And then this is the other gal. Uh, the other one's on the, the main envelope and um, there's always two in a package. One faces one way and one faces the other. So um anyway she's so pretty and oh, I just love this tag and then on the lace here I've got the three um, mini roses from Renee Bouquets and then a little bit larger one here and um, so anyway this just came out so so pretty it's very again very sturdy with lots of different layers and heavy cardstock in there and um, anyway it just came out super super pretty so don't want to give it away but I am I promise so um, on to the the very last thing this is not the last thing there was one more thing so hang in there with me so the last thing I'm going to show you are the wands that I made and I've never made these before so I fretted a little bit so my original thinking was um, to do what a lot of people do and make a, a rosette with a paper you know in the accordion fold style um, the paper that I had gotten uh, just did not fold that well and so I decided I had to do something different and I'm really glad that I did because this just came out so much more elegant and really matches the style of everything else I've done so much better but anyway uh, I used these uh, chipboard pieces or beautiful board pieces as they're called from Renee Bouquets and I used um, one of the small size and one of the large size and these are the April and Paris doilies and I think this is set number two so um, don't quote me on that part but I'm pretty sure these are the April and Paris one of the sets of the doilies from that collection and um, they're just so pretty and I spray painted them and the straws in a silver like a champagne silver paint and so that was the bit pretty much the base of my wand and then I've and and then I sewed and gathered up some ribbon and added some eyelash trim on the other side here and just a cluster of the little roses a Renee Bouquet butterfly and then all these um, trims hanging down are so pretty I just think this came out so beautiful and I'm so proud of my very first wand and then this one here I used the larger uh, chipboard piece and did the same thing spray painted all that in silver and then added various ribbons uh, in between the layers and then on the top I have um, this lady um, from Renee Bouquets and this is in the small size um, I just can't remember her name though and then I added one of those little um, stamps from one of the digital kits and then added a butterfly from 
Renee Bouquets and topped it with a little mini lavender rose from Renee Bouquets. So um, I just think these came out so, so pretty and I'm just really proud of myself. And so I'm going to load everything up into the envelope and just quickly show you um, what it's all going to look like put together. So here it is all put together and I don't think I could fit another thing in here. Uh, God, it's so fun to see a loaded envelope and when you first get one you think, oh, I just can't wait to delve in and see what it's all about, right? That's part of the fun of getting a loaded envelope. I might try one more time to load it just a little bit better, but um, it took me a while just to get it <laughs> to this point. Of course, the only two things that I didn't include were the ink and the flowers, which I knew I wouldn't fit in there anyway. But um, anyway, it's just so beautiful, and I can't wait for Alicia to get it. I hope she enjoys it. And I guys, thank you so much for hanging in there with me and watching all the way through. I, there was so much to share. I know it's a little bit of a long video. But um, thank you for watching and hanging in with me. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, please. If you would like to join me for my upcoming videos, make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe. And as always, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up. That would be awesome. Hey, you guys, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.